going to explain to you the LED features on the GX7 module. As you can see, there are four LEDs, two green ones and two yellow ones. Um, once you boot up the GX7D, the left side power LED light is the 12 volt power, meaning you're getting a full 12 volt connection from your battery. The next LED light that's green is a 5 volt power, which means the board inside that requires 5 volts um, is getting that 5 volt power. So if you don't see this blink up or stay solid, then there must be something uh, wrong with the board inside of the GX7. If you don't see the 12 volts, then you're not successfully getting a 12 volt connection. Uh, the first yellow light LED, once that turns solid, that means the program inside the GX7 is successfully loaded and on the far end this is your GPS connection meaning once you hook up to either your Starfire or GPS unit that you have um, once you do the correct settings that are needed for the GX7 to communicate you will see this either blink or stay solid if you do not see that then there is a GPS communication error and you will not be able to connect to your GX7 on the app I'm now going to show you the LED lights on the GX7 sensors. As you can see right now in my hand, there are three LED lights, one red and two green. The red one shows the sensor receiving the successful ID that it has been given, meaning on the sticker you see GX7 drone number five. When this is solid, you're gonna be able to see it on the tablet, the GX7 app as row number five. The next LED is the solid green one, which is the protocol language that it communicates to each one of the sensors. You would want to see both red and green solid. The blinking green light is the 12 volt connection that you want for each sensors to power up and communicate with each other. This is the sequence that you would want to see on each and every single row that you have on with the sensors.